The sorts that we've written so far have all been done with arrays. And of course, one of the strengths of the sorts that, that we've been using is the fact that they can be done in place so that you don't have to create additional memory. But maybe you have a list and it's interesting to know how to sort lists. We're actually going to sort some more lists in a few chapters using some different types of sorts. <clears throat> but I think there's some value in seeing that we can sort lists using the same types of sorts that we've been doing. And to illustrate this, I actually want to write an insertion sort that works with a list. Uh, the textbook has a bubble sort, a selection sort, and an insertion sort. We're only going to take the time to do one of them here in the videos. So I'll go down to our insertion sort so we can remind ourselves what it looks like. It has a for loop that makes stuff happen many times and then an inner while loop that basically does an insertion. It takes the ith element and pushes it back in the, <coughs> in the array to the correct location. So how do we make this work with lists? So first let's def insertion sort list and it will take LST which is a list of double. Now whereas all of our previous sorts returned unit because they were modifying the array, we can't modify the list. So we actually have to build a new list <clears throat> and that's what we're going to return. Okay. Now. In order to make this work, we're actually going to break it down a bit. First, I want to write a little helper function that can insert a value into a sorted list. So we're going to assume that there is a list that is already sorted, and we're going to insert a new value into it. I mean, after all, that's basically what insertion sort does. So we're going to make a little helper function called insert, and it's going to take a double as well as a list that I will call sorted because well, it's a sorted list. And this is going to return a new list to us, which happens to be this sorted list with the value x added into it. Because I'm doing these with lists, I'm going to write them recursively, and it's helpful to use matches for doing pattern matching. So I'm going to match on sorted. And what are the options? Well, my ultimate base case is that there's nothing there. Well, if I'm inserting x into an empty list, then I get back the list of x, or if you want, x cons nil. Okay. What if it's not empty? If it's not empty, then we have some head value cons on to some tail value. And there are two possibilities that can happen here. If now, this sorted list is sorted from least to greatest, and we're inserting x. So if x is less than the head of the list, then that means that x should go where it is right now, uh, because we don't need to push further down the list, and I get x cons sorted else. Well, if x isn't smaller than the head, then we need to basically go down through the tail. We're going to recurse, and we want to insert x into a one shorter list, but we have to build back the list that we've been making. So I'm going to take the head and cons it onto the result of doing an insert of x into the tail of this list. So that's an insert function that works on list. As long as the input list is sorted, it will insert an x into the right location inside of it. That's basically what this while loop is doing here. But that while loop is sitting inside of a for loop. And so in order to create that, that repetition, we are going to make a little helper function here. And this helper function is going to be passed two different lists. One is a list of sorted values and the other is a list of unsorted values. Though that unsorted list starts off being our whole list, and of course this is going to return a list to us. And once again, I'm going to do some pattern matching. 
So unsorted match. What are the cases? Well, as before, one option is that unsorted is nil. That means that we have gone through, everything was unsorted and put it into sorted, and so we're just gonna give back that sorted list. The other option is, once again, we have some head, cons, tail, and then I need to call the helper. For the sorted list, I'm going to use the result of inserting head into sorted. And for the unsorted list, I'm going to take the tail. So the unsorted list keeps getting one shorter each time, and the sorted list keeps getting one larger because we're calling insert and putting in the head of the list into the sorted part that we have. To make this whole thing work, we just need to call the helper. We're going to start off with nothing in the sorted list, in our full list, in the unsorted list. Okay, let's test this. Loads in just fine. We have our insertion sort list. So we can call that with a list that is filled with 10 random doubles. And what do we get back? 0 0.04, 06, 1, 2, 4, 2, 9, 3, 0, 3, 4, 4, 3, 8, 0, 8, 6. Looks like a sorted list to me. This insertion sort with the list is a little bit longer than the original insertion sort, but insertion sort probably isn't the ideal algorithm for playing with, uh, with lists. As I said earlier, when we get to the section on uh, additional recursion and branching recursion, we'll look at some additional sorts that actually work quite well with, with lists. Um, they can also, well, at least one of them can be written to, to work in place, but the list code is going to be very short and compact, uh, especially for, for one of them.